This is Casey Bradford with Laptop Magazine, and we're taking a look at some of the apps that are being demoed here for uh, the Android Honeycomb event. This one is Fuse Meeting, and right now it is running on uh, the Motorola Zoom, just like everything else. But what is very cool is you see like Pirates of the Caribbean trailer is playing over there. This is actually being streamed to several other people who are part of one meeting. And basically, you can stream a lot of different content, you know, JPEGs, movies. There's also screen sharing that's available over on that um, Mac, MacBook. And so basically, not only are you able to have video conferencing so we can see the other people involved, um, and there's actually right now four people five. involved, five right. people involved in this one meeting, um, and they're all on different uh, devices. Some We have the Mac over there. We have uh, Kristen, who's... Where is Kristen? Kristen is up in San Francisco. Okay. And um, Michael He's is down in Dana Point, down in Southern California. So we've got like a bunch of people all over the place, yes, and they're all seeing the same thing that, that we are seeing, correct? Yes, and we can we can give somebody else presentation uh, capabilities, so I can look through and I can say, I'm going to give make Michael a presenter, so I can choose select to make him a presenter, and now he has the ability to actually control this content. Uh, very cool. So, and basically, what what else uh, are other attendees? able to do like anybody can share video yes. audio pictures anything like that so other pre well other presenters have the ability to upload content to our cloud-based storage okay and that content is then available to the general meeting to anybody that has the presentation capabilities so what they'll see is a list of the various content that has been prepared for the meeting mm -hmm. and they can select at any point um, the ability to change to a sorry, to change to a different piece of content and this content is um, in the cloud that's on your servers but can you that's also correct. show content that's stored locally on your device? Yes. So you, you would, what you would do is you'd go into the content field, you choose to add content, and you choose from this shows just the tablet SD content on a laptop. It'll show your, you know, your hard drive. You can right. add, upload content quickly, and show that content. We also have the ability from a laptop to do screen sharing. So if you wanted something that you didn't want to actually upload, you could do a screen sharing uh, component for it as well. Very cool. And there's full annotation capabilities um, in the software suite. Okay. We don't have all of that built into the tablet piece, but somebody that's on the uh, on a laptop or on a different device can actually do things like control. What okay. I can demonstrate here is we have an eye point technology. Okay, so you can so, point so, to a specific thing within that frame exactly. to highlight it. So we, you know, so we can change content. You can definitely focus on things. And what you've seen already with some of this stuff yeah. is. So what's going on right here? This is actually a high resolution image. It's down. It's, it's downloading it from our transcoders. Okay. So that's why I'll switch back to this one for or, for the time being. But this is all done via somebody else's device, and we're seeing that activity. I can move this content around. Mm -hmm. I can do all sorts of different things with it from the mobile device. Okay. And um, say you want to add people into your meeting. How how is that done? So I can go. Up here, and I can go here to this icon, which is add attendees. So I can actually pull somebody in by the phone, or I can send them an email. And via an email, they can click a link that's embedded in the email. And if they're on a laptop or desktop system, it'll launch a browser. It's completely a browser-based solution. They'll be in the meeting within five to ten seconds. On a mobile device, we have client-specific applica uh, client application. If they click on a link from a mobile device. Uh -huh. It'll point them towards the application on the device, launch the client, and then they can get into the application. Very cool. And so this um, is already on iOS, iPhone, yes. and iPad. Yes. Is it on Android phones, or is it just going to be for Android tablets right now? So we have, we do have a build of this on for Android phones. It's an attendee-only experience. You don't okay. have the same level of control that we have on the uh, on this particular version that we're showing right here. Okay. But we will be providing an update um, to that solution problem within the next 30 days mm -hmm. and that'll give the, the full functionality to everybody. And so when it's on a phone, basically what you're seeing is like thumbnails like this instead of sort of the bigger video sizes. That's correct. So you're limited by the amount of screen real estate that you have. But one of the nice things about this is that say I would really like to see Kristen instead. I can go ahead and tap on that image. I can select her and I can change who I'm focusing on at any given point. Cool. And while I have a I have a camera on showing us, you can see us in the feed over there. Uh -huh. 
I can go ahead and I can turn that camera off. And so what it's going to show is it's going to show the rest of the participants rather than me as a presenter because I might not want to look at myself. That makes sense. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for this demo. And this is going to be ready when uh, Motorola Zoom launches? It'll be ready shortly after. The application is already available, but the, with the video portion, it'll be ready within weeks of the launch of Zoom. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you.